Today we are going to learn about how to detect a key press event within the C hash. So how we can do it? First we need to go to file, we click on new and then on project. Then you need to click on visual C hash project and Windows Forms application. Click on OK and now our project is ready. Now here you can see that we have one GUI based form application and one is the code okay when you will click on this GUI your code will get open okay so we will just do one thing we will go and we will take one what's called as the text box because we will enter our yes okay now this is our text box you can see it now this is our text box now we will double click on this text box and it will create an callback function for this text box. So this is our private white text box one underscore text change. Okay. Okay. Now we will do one more thing. We will just one click on this text box and we will go to this uh, event section and we will go for key press event. Okay. Key press event. Okay. Now this thing. So we will double click on key press event and we got this function now you need to write if this function will only like uh, will only execute if if we will press one key okay or otherwise it is not going to change okay so okay if now we have one property that is called as e dot key e dot key c h a r key character and is equal to is equal to okay wait key character is equal to is equal to which is obviously an as uh, comparison operator comparator operator and then you need to write char character keys dot f okay now there are two things in it okay so now this is the body of the F these brackets are the body of F condition okay now we will do one thing okay so this is our function character keys dot a so whenever we will press a key if it is a key if the key is a alphabet a key then e dot key character is a property that used to hold the uh, key in it okay so if if e dot key character is equal to a then our message box message box will pop up message box dot show a is pressed okay okay now message box dot show now we will run it out uh, what is that if e e dot key character is equal to is equal to char keys dot a so wait uh, they said yes so, so so it is just the error of semicolon so okay now we will click on start okay now if we will press like uh, a now you can see that A is pressed. If we want to like press Q, R, T, they are not going to work, okay? Except A. Whenever we will press A, it says A is pressed, okay? And can we do it for some other key? Yes, we can. If you want to write H, okay, cap it must be capital, okay? H. We will run it out. Now we will see oh, in oh, on G and T and E it is not going to work but on when I will press H it, it says A is pressed because we have written A is pressed so you can write H is pressed here so we will write H is pressed here okay capital one okay H is pressed oh, sorry now we will run it and whenever we will write H H is pressed so in this way you can detect the key press event within the c hey so hopefully you got the concept so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe